It's been a little while, COVID and everything. Anyway, good afternoon, Whitby Presbyterian Church. What is the chief end of humanity? That's the question that's kind of pushed around sometimes in Presbyterian circles. It's the first question of the Westminster Shorter Catechism. What is the chief end of humanity? Do you happen to remember what the official answer is? Humanity's chief end is to love God and enjoy God forever. What is the primary goal and purpose of you as a human? Well, like, according to the Westminster Assembly of the Divines in the 1640s, your primary goal, your primary goal, yours, your primary goal and your primary purpose is to love God and to enjoy God forever. Now, what do you picture in your mind when you hear phrases like love God and enjoy God forever? Do you picture something sort of otherworldly holy in a weird way that we just don't quite experience all the time? Like with everyone sitting around in robes and sitting quietly with this angelic music in the background all focused on Jesus? Is enjoying God forever like a giant unending worship service? Songs and liturgy and preaching and the whole thing just forever unending? Now, I can't tell you what the Westminster Assembly of Divines had in mind. I wasn't there. The 1640s was a very long time ago. But if that is what they had in mind, this unending pious adoration thing, well, they might be off a little bit, I think. And when we can't stretch our imaginations beyond that either, well, we also might be a little bit off. Because, well, because I believe God gives us desire. And God wants us to take joy in the things that we have been given by God, right? In creation, you know? The stuff around us, the people in our lives. God wants us to enjoy the world that God has given to us. The bright green grass that's popping up all around us and a cup of coffee that gives us warmth and caffeine and conversation. The beauty of the stars and the love of a pet and the love of friends and family. Wind in our hair and gentle dew on our feet. The security of a roof over our heads, the thrill of a novel or the joy of driving. The Westminster Assembly of Divines isn't wrong. They just don't have the full picture. We enjoy God through all of God's creation. And through all that stuff, God gives us this gift of enjoyment. And when we do that, when we enjoy these things in creation that God has given to us, when we enjoy all that stuff, we are living the purpose that God has given to us. And in effect, I believe that when we enjoy the world that God has given to us each and every day, we're enjoying God forever. Anyway, until next time, peace be with you.